Good day! In this video, I will introduce our presentation research. The title of our project is a proposed monitoring system for local government operation support in Batasan Hills, Quezon City. The main focus of our objective is to make the work of the people in Barangay Batasan easy because if they have this kind of system, they can work faster and finish it faster than they used to. These are some objectives of the research. To reduce the workload of the workers, to lessen the manual of paperwork, to conduct easy operation support, and to secure the information provided. Today, most of Batasan Hills is residential, although it has one of the largest urban poor populations in the country. Need for automation system, the barangay has a lot of manual works. Increase the work capacity, they can increase the work capacity because of the system. Increase the speed work, they can speed the work because of the system. Our group is focusing on what is the best for the client. They need a system that can help them to make the job done nice and easy. That's the automation comes, the monitoring system. By implementing this system, they can guarantee that the work will be done. Microsoft Visual Studio is used for creating the graphical user interface or GUI of the application. It's an integrated development environment or IDE from Microsoft. We choose Microsoft Visual Studio for developing tool because of its versatile work. The coding and designing will be done in this application. No need to download other tools for designing or coding. This is all-in-one tool. Microsoft Access is a database management system or DBMS from Microsoft that combines the relational Microsoft Jet database engine with a graphical user interface and software development. This one is the most compatible database storage for the system, the Microsoft Access. Metro Framework and Bunifu Framework is used to optimize the UI of the system. These frameworks are added for the UI or user interface of the system to be more user friendly. And now let's go to the system's features. Login feature. The user needs an account to be able to log in to the system. The admin of the system will provide the password and username of the person that will work for the system. Dashboard features after logging in the system will display the dashboard that consists of four categories which is residence list, manage users, list of activities, and list of concerns. From Add Street Features, one of the functions of the system, it can add the complete name of the street and store it on database. After you add the street information, you can see it in the street info. And now, Let's watch the actual video of how this system really works. Let's go! Hello, good day. In this video, I'm here to have some preview of our monitoring system for local government operations support for Batasan Hills, Quezon City. First, input an account and login form. Mm -hmm. 
After you verify, you can access dashboard form composed with four features. We we'll start in resident list. Here you can add another resident here. And delete some selected resident or even update. Next is Manage User. Here you can add, delete, and update any account to access the system. And the third is list of activities. Here, stored all of information that local government provided for specific streets. And the last is list of concerns. In this form, you can manage and store all the concern or issues with each resident that need to be provided. That's all for this video. We hope you learned something from this video and it helped for you. Thanks for watching.